everybody welcome back to my kitchen you guys we are making this delicious taco salad y'all it is so good it's very simple to do what you just saw was I had rinsed my meat y'all we believe in rinsing our meat around here honey so yes I rinsed my meat two pounds of hamburger and then I added it to my frying pan and we're just getting this cooked up. I'm gonna add some garlic powder and onion powder. You guys, I think I add this to pretty much almost every meat I cook. Do you guys do that too? It's like a staple in the kitchen. Onion powder and garlic powder. I'm not measuring, just sprinkle some in there until you feel like it's enough. You can always add more if you need to onion powder garlic powder we'll also be using and again you guys I'm keeping this really simple there are people who I say all the time they really struggle with cooking so I love an easy peasy simple recipe okay my children would love when I would make tacos and taco salad and it was just easy when I needed something quick to do just a quick meal the kids loved it my husband enjoyed it so I thought I'd share it with you all today. We're actually going to do the taco salad and some taco egg wraps. I've never done egg rolls. I've never done the taco egg rolls before. I'm going to use these egg roll wraps here. So we're going to try that today as well. But I'll be using the Taco Bell orig original taco seasoning mix. And you guys, I'll be using two packages of these because it says to use one package per pound of meat since I have two pounds we have two packages I know I could do my own taco seasoning I said I'm keeping it simple you guys so we want ready to go okay two packs of my taco seasoning then I'll be adding some Hunt's diced tomatoes and they have sweet onion in the tomatoes and we love the tomatoes and that just keeps me from having to to cut up a tomato and add it to it I'm just going to add this straight to my hamburger meat okay i have already thoroughly washed off the top of this can you guys wash off the top of your cans they are nasty they have been in those um warehouses y'all know what i'm getting ready to say <laughs> warehouses on those tractor trailer trucks and then they sit in the grocery store and they're back there uh in the grocery store and little rodents and insects and stuff crawling all on them licking the cans and stuff and the folk putting their nasty hands all on the cans and y'all wash off your cans okay wash them really good i also have some thick and chunky salsa this is mild because me and my dude number one aka my husband we don't really do the spicy and hot stuff so we're keeping it mild then we have some sour cream. We can't have our tacos, taco salad without sour cream. I have some shredded iceberg lettuce. Y'all, I wanted it already done. I wanted to just open the package and the lettuce is already shredded. Now today I'm going to be using some creamy milk triple cheddar cheese. It is, there is white cheddar, sharp cheddar, mild cheddar cheeses with also, it also has cream cheese in it. Now, ordinarily, I don't use the bag cheese. I prefer to grate my own cheese if I'm making macaroni and cheese. And oftentimes, more often than not, when I do our eggs, I like to grate my own cheese. But we're keeping it simple. We're keeping it quick. And I do use the bag cheese every once in a while. I know it has some, what is that, something starchy on it. Something on it to help preserve the cheese. That's why I don't like to use it too much. But I will use it. I'm not totally against using it every once in a while all right let's see we also like using, using the tostitos so we'll have a layer of the tostitos and then we'll do the hamburger meat and then we'll top it with the um with the lettuce no we do the tostitos what do we do next the taco meat the lettuce and then the cheese and everything else all right we're eating a taco salad. So my husband and I, my dude number one, we also like to add Thousand Island to the top of our taco salad. 
let's see is that everything I think that's everything um, when we get ready to do the egg roll wraps of course we will fry those in a little bit of vegetable oil okay we're just getting our meat brown I'm trying to break up this hamburger um, don't want real big I don't want my chunks to be too big and we're trying to make sure that it's done I don't want to overcook it but I definitely want to make sure that there is no pink no pink totally done of course I have thoroughly washed my hands y'all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands that's just nasty and while I'm there. Let me say this while this ground beef is continuing to cook. I'm going to make this really quick. I'm going to hit it and quit it. For those of you who continue to ask me to stop saying wash your nasty hands because that's just nasty. For those of you who are insulted because I continue to ask you or remind people to wash your nasty hands. I'm not going to stop saying it. Unfortunately, we do live in a world where some people have to be reminded. I know some of you out there know somebody right now that you work with who goes in the bathroom and comes out and do not wash their hands. They do it every day, just nasty. My mama will call you a nasty buzzard, okay? So please, ma'am, please, sir, and y'all, I'm trying my best to say this nice, because when I tell y'all there's so much I want to say and add to this, but I'm trying to be real, real nice about this, okay? So let me help you. This is my channel. This is my kitchen. I'm not going to stop saying it. If it bothers you that much, just like you clicked on the video, feel free to click off because I'm not going to stop saying it. All right? Okay. So the ground beef seems to be done. And we're just going to drain it. And then we'll be ready to add our other ingredients. And I only drained it. I did not rinse it because I didn't want to rinse off all my garlic and onion powder seasonings, okay? And I'm going to bring you all over in just a minute. We have our... I'm going to add two cups of water because once I start adding my other ingredients... I also like to let our taco meat simmer for a little while. So that's why I like to add two cups of water. Now the package will tell you to add three-fourth cups of water. Bring it to a boil and simmer it. But I like to add a little bit more. So in goes my two cups of water. Then I'll add my two packs of Taco Bell seasoning mix. And I didn't want to add any additional salt because I think the taco mix has enough sodium in it. Like I say, feel free to add whatever you like with your tacos. I know some people may like the peppers and hot peppers. And again, just whatever you, you know, your palate enjoys. But 
I'm keeping it really simple because that's how we like it. My diced tomatoes with sweet onion. We're gonna go in and add that as well, the whole can. And if you don't like the large chunks of the tomatoes, you can get the cans where they are really diced and petite size. But we like the chunkiness of the tomatoes. Look at that. And then we have this thick and chunky salsa. Start by adding probably about half of the bottle. And that's it, you guys. We're going to bring this to a boil. And let it simmer. And then once it cooks down some, we're going to go on and add a little bit of the cheese. We'll add cheese in with the taco uh, meat. And then we'll add more cheese on top of our taco salad. We just don't like for it to be really, I don't like for it to be too dry. So I like it to have a little looseness to it. Not quite this loose. And that's why we're going to let it simmer for a while. So once this starts boiling, we're going to turn it down, I'll cover it, and we'll let it simmer for at least about 25 minutes or so. Now that we're boiling, I'm going to turn my burner down on low, probably on about two, and then we'll cover it and allow it to simmer for a little while longer. We've been simmering for about 25 minutes now and I did take the lid off a little bit so some of the liquid can cook down some. So you may need to do that. If it's a little too loose then just take that lid off so some of that liquid can cook down because when we do these egg rolls you don't want it too watery or too too loose like I'll try to drain off some of that to make sure I just have you know the meat I have turned on a pot over here my frying pan with some vegetable oil in it because I'm getting ready to we're getting ready to fry up a few of these taco egg rolls so I'm adding getting ready to add just a little bit of cheese to my taco mix of course I'm gonna add more as we put the tacos taco egg rolls together and even on my taco salad okay so we're just gonna start with the egg rolls lay them out on the diagonal like that I'm gonna start with a little bit of sour cream first. Hope that's not too much. Because you definitely want them to be able to close, alright? Some of the taco meat. And that's why I say you don't want it too runny because it'll it'll run everywhere. A little bit of lettuce and a little more cheese and I'll put a little water around the edge to get it to help it seal okay you don't have to do egg white you can just do water all right we're gonna fold it in here Okay, 
wait a minute. No, we're folding here. And then like this. Get it together, girl. And then we're gonna try to keep try to keep the stuff tucked on on the inside. Mm. Let's see if we can make the next one look a little bit better, okay? Okay. We're going to do just a little sour cream. Just a little bit. A little bit of the hamburger meat, the taco meat. Lettuce. And then a little, a little more cheese. Okay. And I think what I'm, I'm supposed to be doing is rolling it away from me. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Let's take the sides in. We're going to do it like this. And then we're going to roll. But try to keep the filling stuffed in. Okay, that one was a little better. All right. <laughs> We're adding sour cream. A little bit of the taco meat. I bet y'all was saying, Miss Donna, you rolling them wrong. You rolling them wrong, Miss Donna. You see why it cannot be really runny. Because you're going to have a mess. Okay. All right. Now we're going to add a little water to help it to seal. Fold in these sides. Wait a minute. Get that to come down this way a little bit. Fold in the sides. Fold in this bottom piece. And then kind of, kind of tuck and roll. Does that make sense? Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. And it shouldn't take them long. Be careful of the splatter. take them long at all to cook. These egg rolls are so thin. You guys be really careful because these are splattering so much because the juices are running out of the tacos. And of course that's the juice from the hamburger meat and everything that's running out so just be very careful okay and i have cut this one open let me see can you see doesn't it look good oh and it's still smoking hot so like i say y'all be careful since i cut this one open i guess i need to to eat it, huh? For my dude number one who gets in here. Ooh. Mm. Mm. That's hot, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so now let me put together our taco salad so you can see what that looks like yeah my dude number one is going to put his taco salad together and you notice when you're doing this it's about presentation everything is about presentation well if you don't put that salad together 
Sir, okay, please. so this is what you do. Don't make this another 20 minute video. Now, for me, it would be some Doritos, but nevertheless. No, since when you do Doritos, you like the Tostitos. You being real stingy with the Tostitos. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just, I'm eating light. Oh, okay. I'm watching my, my, my figure. Okay. Fix your taco salad, baby. Okay. Oh, I have to get your, your um. You gotta be able to. Your lips, baby, your lips. I need my lips. You see what I'm saying, baby, because you don't want to get too much of it. You just take into consideration. You don't make it. Okay. See? That's what I'm saying. You gotta just... That's what you have here. Paper. Just show it to them once you get everything put on. They yeah. look good, babe. That's the point I'm making. I like the scoops because the meat go down in the scoops. Exactly. And so it's almost like an entree. Baby, don't make the plate look messy. Pre messy presentation is everything. Yeah. So... You can't have stuff running off down the plate, babe. You can't have it. You can't have it. You can't have it. Sometimes you get so good at these things, I taste my finger when I wash my hands and I don't want nobody to tuck my hand. Maybe it's just your finger. You just, want to lick your finger, lick your finger. You know what I'm just saying? Okay. Now, okay. the next thing you want to do is put your salad. Spread that, please. This is my help. This is my help for here. This might spread the salad. There you go. Spread it around. There you go. That looks so good. That looks so good. Okay. Did. You did very well. You did very well. There you go. But I was trying to move so you could see the edge a little bit. Know, so then what you want to do, then do it. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to just spread. Sprinkle your cheese. Sprinkle your cheese, guys. It's almost like a. <laughs> That's what you want to do. Sprinkle your cheese. All it is is a open cheeseburger. That's what it is. An open cheeseburger? Yes, yeah, open cheeseburger. Now, there you go. Now, crunchy. now with that. Um. Now, now, this right here, guys, is a little just um, sour cream. Some may um, desire it. Some may say I can pass the sour cream. But for me, I just want, all I want is just a little spritz of it. Not much, you, but just a, a It's a little dollop. A dollop. A what? A little dollop. Okay, a dollop. I'm getting a little dollop. When you spritz something, you spray it. Okay, well, a dollop. Two dollops. We put it on top of the little one, baby. Put it on top of the... Are you going to put... What, what are you looking at, babe? The little one right here in the middle. Don't make me look bad in front of everybody. I said on top of... Okay, babe, that is so That good. is so pretty right there. And what else we put on top? And then, we see, what we have is... I, it, it's really your desire. Um, you can put your own flavor of um, um, dressing. If you would like ranch. If you would like Thousand Island. Whatever you like. My, I, I prefer Thousand Island. Here, just a little bit in there. Just a little bit. You don't want. You don't no, want I'm saying it's just a little bit in the bottle. There's another bottle in the refrigerator, but I think you can get back. Okay, just that. There you go. Look at that there. Look. Oh, that Look at that. Good, Look at that. that looks. Let me tell you something. Look at you. You gonna show everybody? Wait, no, baby, you cutting your head off. <laughs> Hold up. You You're so tall, baby. You're so tall. This is a big, big. You can big, big. turn on a little bit light in the background. Let me tell you something. If this hit the floor, I'll catch it before it hit the ground. I'll be down there like Philo, Fifo, <laughs> whatever. Show them good. You I think show you, the people. The baby, no, they want to see up close. Look, y'all. And let me tell you something. If I and dump you, this in the floor, I'm gonna be down there like a mountain tiger. That would be my name. So this is what. You well, I'm gonna let you hold it, babe. Yes, and now, then this is oh, what. Baby, it's still cutting your head off. I right? can't help. I can't oh, shrink. Baby, I'm just raising it. That's all, babe. Y'all, he's so. Oh, he's so extra. Wait a minute, and let me hold the other. Let me hold the um. How are we gonna get both of these in? The, let me hold the um. I'm be like you. Wait a minute. Where am I put the words? Um. Oh, your head. You sure? Over my head. Okay, will you move over that way a little bit, y'all? This is too funny. We are not gonna edit any of this out. Okay. Baby, you can't be looking. Oh, you be they have to see it. Oh, uh, baby, is that eye on you? Be caught on fire. My don't buns burning. <laughs> but you come on. Oh, my the, buns hot. You was the one leaning all on the stove. My hot buns. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to do both. Okay, hold on. This is what you do. Watch this. This is what you do. Oh, like this it. one. Oh, you so <laughs> smart, but they can't see yours. Don't I'm talking. I can't see you. I, I'm told them. No, let me hold them. Your arm is your arm short. No, I, 
Okay, okay. To me. Okay. We're shorter on what we talking about. I don't, like, I don't know if this is going to work. This is going to work. Okay, let, let me see. Let me see. Y'all. Oh, my goodness. You got to. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me give you this. You, you get up. Right there. there you go. Come over this way, son. Well, baby, they can't see it. I got you. <gasps> oh, hey. I thought they was giving me the slap. Oh, open your mouth. No, I'm just kidding. There you go. I got it. I'm telling y'all, I'm good at this thing. Close your mouth so I can get thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Yay, you did it. That's yes, awesome. Now, okay. guys, you want to be able to, with everything you see, you don't want it to wait too long because you're dressing or your, 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 um, sour cream may take in, in soften your, that right there is uncalled for you. So, with that, your dressing and your, your sour cream may soften your your taco or whatever you have in there. Mm -hmm. So, what you want to be able to do is you want to eat it. Now, listen. Listen to, um, I need you guys to listen. And here's how you know this, okay. It's like a finger food. This is good. You're not going to let me taste it? Mm. You're not going to give me any? It's real good. Now let me feed you. I want one with some sour cream and some thousand dollars on it. Well, don't let me just... I got you, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you. There you go. There you go. Dang it. Mmm. Mm. So delicious. Mm. Mm. That's so good with that thousand dollars mm. dressing. I've never tried it. Y'all listen. If you can't pour a thousand dollars, just get um ninety dollars. I mean, whatever. If you can't get that thousand, do ninety nine. Ninety nine dollars. Mm. 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 Okay, y'all. Mm. We have carried on long enough. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and when you're doing the the, um, the taco egg rolls, y'all make sure your taco meat isn't too runny. It was doing all that popping and carrying on because the juices was running out. Y'all please be careful because it was showing up popping, okay? So if you have your meat a little bit drier, if you will, than I have, but I know I want to do the taco salad too. And we just don't be liking dried meat. I just wanted to dry them egg rolls, them taco and, egg rolls. And okay. you also, guys, want to make sure you have a fork with you so you are able to eat. Because the excess will roll over and you can then simply just take a fork. Take a fork, and guys. It's like a salad. See this? It's just like a salad. All right, you guys. Well, if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the nosy. That's turning on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever we're doing whatever it is we're doing over here. Okay, you guys? So thank you all so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again. This is a weekend meal. It's not the weekend. I know, but it's the weekend. You gotta make it a weekend. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye!